Alright, so this crash I already realized is because uh, upon exiting, I'm not properly deleting all of my uh, game objects that I spawned, which is probably the ones that I'm using just to uh, register key touches or key presses. So I'll fuck this up later. I'm running real low on time now. Uh, but past that, here's AI input. It moves in directions uh, based off of using these to call upon the actual function within Blaster, which we've seen before, but we'll go over again. Yeah, let's peek it real quick. Uh, peek. So yeah, so like going up and left, you call up and left, and so forth, and then uh, in Blaster itself, uh, we've included the second part of the parameter, since it takes in a boolean, Pulse now creates the AI input from the factory. Uh, let's bring up the factory real quick. Factory, just, just to show you, it's not static stack, which you've yielded at me before, so that's nice and clean. Uh, again, there are my movements. Um, they take in an integer because I count it as a movement lock, more or less, or secondary movement lock. Uh, mode selects. This one I have fixed for properly destroying itself. So after it's called, or after it registers the number one press, it destroys itself. And then, uh, which calls one player game. So in the game manager, there's one player I have game type set up, which will be prevalent in player manager in a second. Uh, my sound manager's not working well. I think I'm on the verge of fixing it, but again, out of time, so I'll deal with that probably right after class. Here's reset game. Reset game basically clears everything using the terminate or delete function. I should probably just rename that to terminate, but it's for another time. But then it recalls start, and recalling start is what's called in the actual uh, main file. It literally just has game start and all the collision tests. So there's that. And upon that, button calling game start creates a new mode select for the whole cycle again. Then player manager respawn, it checks the game type. So if it's game type 1 for player 1, it'll check if you have more than 0 lives to call respawn. If not, then uh, you do reset game since for this sprint we set it up for. Uh, going into tracker mode, and that's what reset game does. We need to type 0 after going start again. And then type 0, if you die, it just calls respawn. And yeah, let's go through it real quick. So there I go, all over the place. I hit 1. And now we're in regular game mode. So kill self. There's the broken sound still. Just have to fix that. Oh, come on, spawn. There you go. And then kill yourself, and now we're back here. And yeah, that's it. There's the magical crash. It's, uh, I'm fairly sure it's uh, the way I'm processing my. Uh, sound command, so I'll, I'll add in a mark for destroy upon destruction within that, so it should get stuck over. Yeah, that's it. See you. Bye.